What's going on guys, it's Hai, and I recently sold off a bunch of stuff from my home gym, including all of my iron Olympic plates. When I started my home gym and for my Olympic plates, I went with cheap irons that I found from OfferUp. Well, I quickly, very quickly regretted that decision because those plates were just complete crap. But luckily, I was able to sell all of the plates off and to replace them, this time around I knew that I wanted to upgrade. Now, I personally have always wanted bumper plates. I don't do any Olympic lifts, and the most dropping of plates that I do is either from barbell rolls or deadlifts, so it's not like I need bumper plates. However, I just personally love the look and feel of them. What's always turned me away from actually buying them was the price, because they are typically more expensive to a lot more expensive. Well, after some research, I came across Giant Lifting, which happens to be a local fitness equipment manufacturer, and Giant offers bumper plates, and after some comparisons, it turns out that Giant actually offers the cheapest bumper plates for me because, again, they are local, so I can just go drive and pick the plates up at the storefront for free. Giant offers a few different types of plates, but in terms of bumpers, they offer crumb bumpers and virgin rubber bumpers. I was actually looking at picking up a pair of the contrast bumpers, but the day that I went to the Giant warehouse, they actually released a brand new set of colored virgin rubber bumpers. From my understanding, these colored bumper plates are going to offer nearly identical performance to the giant contrast bumper plates. Both are of the same in dimensions, both have a weight tolerance of plus or minus 3% of said weight, and both are facility tested to 10,000 drops at 8 feet. All that being said, when I saw these plates, I just had to buy them because colored bumper plates are my favorite form of bumpers. Again, it's not like the colored bumpers are any better, they just offer easier identification. But to me, colored bumpers just really add a pop of perceived quality to any gym and it's what I've always wanted. Now, I want to make clear that I just got these bumpers and have only been playing around with them for a bit. I haven't done any serious lifting with them, so I can't necessarily speak on quality or use life expectancy other than tell you that they are pretty good looking and they feel really good in the hand. These are some badass plates for the price. Right now, I'm going to throw up some specs on the screen for you to just go over for yourself because this is the type of thing that if you care about it, you will know and appreciate what you're seeing. For me personally, a concern that I have with bumper plates in general is that they are typically thicker than your iron plates. This means that you will be able to load less plates onto a bar, but a nice thing about these colored bumper plates is that they're thinner than some of the other bumper plates on the market. We tested the plates out in the showroom, and from what I saw, you can comfortably fit five of these colored 45 pound plates on a bar and still fit a flip collar clamp. The picture that you're seeing only shows one of these colored plates, but as you can see, there are two crumb plates on there, and those are thicker than the colored plates. This means that logically, five colored plates should fit just fine. So if you're lifting up to around 500 pounds and maybe some small change, these bumper plates are good to go. Something to note with these colored bumper plates is that the 10 and 15 pound plates are five millimeters smaller in diameter than the 25, 35, and 45 pound plates. This is because typically when all bumper plates are made to the same diameter, as you load up the bar and things get heavy and you start dropping the plates, because the 10 and 15 pound plates are thinner, they're going to absorb more of the impact force. And with these 10 and 15 pound plates being slightly smaller, they just absorb less force and should last longer. And that's about it for now. I'll be using these plates every time that I lift from now on, so I'll be able to get a lot of time in with them pretty quick. The only minor complaint that I have is that Giant currently doesn't offer a matching set of change plates, so I had to purchase their Grip X change plates, which are essentially the smaller version of their contrast bumper plates. These plates don't aesthetically match the colored bumper plates, but that's purely a complaint based on aesthetics, not function. Hopefully there will be some matching change plates in the future, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. The plates look great, and I'm already thinking of picking up more if they perform as they should, along with a few other things, because Giant really seems to be putting out a lot of good quality product for the price. It's, I mean, the stuff they make just look great. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below with any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. And if you wanna further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below or become a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.